I don't wanna live my life like an Instagram post. A lot of people spending hours taking. Hello everyone and welcome back to Curls and Cocktails. My name is Justine and today we will be making a cocktail. Let's see if I can do it. Ready? Cocktail. Oh wait, I'm going to say what cocktail it is. Ginger beer. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Pineapple ginger beer. What do you guys think of my new intro? It's cute, right? I made a little me going like this. Myself. It was really hard, but I made it. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. We are here today making a pineapple Moscow mule. So I decided to make this. It says, typically I've been doing like theme things, but this is nothing to do with the theme. My cousin went out yesterday and he bought ginger beer. Um, and the only time I've ever seen ginger beer in use is in a Moscow mule. So I thought, mm, it's here. I have to make a video. Might as well make a mule because I love them. They're delicious. Put a little twist on it because, you know, I love a good pineapple. So I'm making pineapple Moscow mule. I'm going to tell you what you need in this. So you will need two ounces of vodka of your choice. I chose Grey Goose. Ginger beer. That's just to top everything off. This is the vodka. One tablespoon of lime juice. Two ounces of pineapple juice, ice. Typically, um, Moscow mules are in like the tin cups, but I don't own one of those. So we're using a mason jar. And then to garnish, pineapple slice and mint. Beautiful. So the first time I had a mule, you guys don't care about the story time, but I'm gonna tell you it anyway. The first time I had a mule was at my friend Rachel's house. Um, it was for Binghamton Parade Day. She lives in Binghamton. So it was for Binghamton Parade Day and her dad made us mules. But he had, the first mule was amazing. Like we woke up, we drank it, it was delicious. And I was like, wow, it was the first time I had a mule. It was amazing. The second one that he made us to go was spicy. And I have a zero spice tolerance. Like my spice level is... So then I was like, Rachel, this is so spicy. Like what is this? It's not supposed to be spicy. The first one wasn't spicy. So she called her dad and he was like, oh, I accidentally used spicy ginger beer. So Apparently there's a spicy ginger beer out there. You can get that if you want, if you find it. I don't know where she got it, but this is just regular ginger beer. And this is really simple. So here we go. You're going to pour everything into your mason jar cup. We have pineapple juice, lime juice, vodka. I'm just going to give that a little mix before I put the ginger beer in there. A water bottle cup, okay. and then you top that off with ginger beer. Butamus, and for garnish, because you gotta garnish everything to make it look cute, you put a little pineapple, you throw mint in there literally for no reason. Nothing in this is mint, but it makes it look cute. And let me show you guys the finished product. There we go. How cute is she? Isn't this just the cutest little drink you've ever seen? You'd look so fancy if you made this. And look how easy it is. It's like literally three, three products, I think. Three. Pineapple juice, vodka, lime juice, ginger beer. Four products. Grab some mint for garnish, pineapple for garnish. But you don't need that. That's just, you know, garnish. Not necessary. All right, and we're going to sip it, but I already know it's delicious, so. All right, maybe I lied. Maybe all ginger beer is spicy because this is also spicy. <laughs> oh my God, it's spicy. Why does it taste like that? Is that how ginger beer tastes? I've never had it by itself, only in Moscow Mules, but it's usually not that spicy. But this one doesn't say with spice. I lied, it totally says with spice. It says spicy botanical ginger drink with herbal extracts. Wow, okay, makes sense. You know where you can find spicy ginger beer at? I think Aldi's. I think that's where my cousin got this, Aldi's. So yeah, go get yourself some spicy ginger beer. I can't even believe I did not read this. It's not big. I'm gonna show you it's not big so you don't think I'm crazy. This is the ginger beer. This is just what ginger beer, I guess, looks like. I don't really know. Ginger beer is huge, right? This tiny word right here is spicy. This tiny word is spicy. Who makes spicy that small? It's also up here, really tiny. Spicy. 
Spicy ginger beer. I can't even believe I've been bamboozled again to sp drink spicy ginger beer. So spicy, so spicy. So spicy. All right. I'm going to give you guys a little update because this is going to be a short video. So three updates we have right now. One, I think this is my new filming location for um, the cocktail part. I like this. It's cute, right? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Cool. Two, my bar cart is still in the works. It's outside. I spray painted it. I sanded it down. I spray painted it on Sunday. It's now Wednesday. I haven't touched it since. It's more of a weekend gig for me, so went through that. And three, uh, do I have a three? I think I just picked a number. And, all right, we're going to give you a three. Three, if anyone knows how to get rid of hormonal acne, let me know. I'm struggling. I'm going through it. It's really kicking my butt, and I can't handle it. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for watching today's video. I know it was really short, but this is a really easy cocktail to make, so I think you should go make it this weekend with your friends, your family with anyone it's delicious don't get spicy ginger beer unless you like spice but i don't and i can't believe i was tricked like that whatever don't get spicy ginger beer um remember today is a great day to have a great day and come back every thursday because that is when i post right here on curls and cocktails I've got bad habits i'm trying to fix you haven't even seen the half of it and i don't think you'd want to